is touching the truth. Up until now, VR has been something that's been pretty expensive if you've wanted to try it out, which is kind of a reason why it hasn't gotten extremely popular, because most of the headsets a few years ago used to be over $1,000, and it wasn't really something that was easy to get into, especially if you didn't have a ton of money. But now, in 2019, there's a lot of new ways that you can actually experience VR without having to spend a ton of money on a expensive headset and stuff like that and in this video I just wanted to go over one of the ways that I found to get a pretty decent VR experience with spending basically a dollar fifty on it but yeah the first thing that you're gonna need is a phone so if you don't have a phone I'm sorry you're kinda out of luck uh, pretty much any phone will work at least I know of it would be nice to have a better one because you'll have a bigger screen higher resolution and also some of the tracking and stuff might work a little bit better right now I am using a Galaxy S9 Plus which is pretty much the biggest phone that I can fit into my little phone headset here but yeah this this one works fine so if you want to get the exact setup as me S9 Plus and and I will go over the headset in a second. But anyway, you're gonna need this and also a pretty decent sized cable to be able to plug this into your computer. So you could do this without a computer, you could just use the Google Cardboard thing, but you won't have that great of an experience because there aren't that many games that you can play uh, with that. But anyway, I also do have a screen recorder up here so then you guys are able to, you know, see what I'm doing and follow along with what I'm. So the next thing that you'll need is any type of VR headset that sl your phone slides in. So this one right here, it is an on virtual reality smartphone headset. It was like a dollar at Walmart. Uh, you can find these at Five Below, Walmart, Target, pretty much anywhere. Uh, and they're normally not too expensive. Like I said, this one was just a dollar and you could probably find cheaper ones. I know the Google Cardboard is literally made of cardboard, so it's probably like 50 cents. But these, I mean, they work. There's no real issues with them, other than maybe the focusing being a little bit weird. Um, but it's definitely usable if you don't have a ton of money for a real VR headset. Anyway, going on to my phone now, what you're going to want to do is go into your settings. First, obviously, make sure your phone is plugged into your computer. Go into your settings, go down, and find where it says mobile hotspot and tethering. This might be in a different place if you have a different type of phone, like if you have like a OnePlus or a Moto or something like that. It will be in a different spot, so just uh, if you have a search option, just look for tethering and you should be able to find it here. Make sure it's plugged into your computer and you're going to want to turn on USB tethering. So you see here, it'll start verifying, and this actually won't work if you have your data turned off. So you're going to want to go up here, turn on your data, and then go back and turn it on. You don't actually need to have your data turned on once this is already switched on, so all you got to do is go up here, turn it off again, and now you're good. You're connected. Make sure you actually turn off your data if you don't have unlimited because I accidentally forgot to do that and it used up almost like two gigs. So just be very careful about that. If you turn it off, it'll still work fine. You won't have any other issues. I don't know why by default it uses data, but I don't know. Anyway, once you've done this, you're gonna wanna go into your app store, you know, Google Play, App Store. I think it might even be on the, the Kindle store or whatever. I don't even know if they make a Kindle Fire phone. Maybe they do. Uh, or not a Kindle, but uh, the Amazon, whatever it is. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search. Th this is, all right, there's three options that you have. You could use V-Ridge, you could use Trinus, or you could use Ivory. Ivory is the one that has worked the best for me, so that's the one that I'd recommend. But if Ivory isn't working well for you, you could try either of these two. But you're going to want to search for this. It's spelled I-V-R-Y, and you're going to want to go and download it. So once you download it, it'll say this is the light version after being connected for more than five minutes. Color saturation will be 
reduced. So that's one of the limitations with using this program. All three of those programs have limitations, but this is actually the least bad one. The other two will just completely disconnect after five minutes. This one you could still keep playing for however long you want, but you will have lower saturation. So if that's something that bothers you, I mean, if you are monochrome colorblind, then I, I mean, that's not really that big of a deal anyway. But if you have an issue with that, it's like $5 to upgrade to the uh, the premium version of the app, and that fixes that issue, so yeah. Once you're in the app here, it'll say waiting for connection. Go up in your settings, and if you have the same phone as me, these settings work fine. Uh, you're gonna want to have all of these turned on, so I'll just scroll through those quickly. There are probably better settings, so if you guys have used this, make sure to let me know which ones you guys use and if it looks any better than mine. But anyway, now you can slide your phone into your VR headset. Also, make sure if you do have your screen timeout or uh, sleep mode, whatever it's called, if you have that turned on, make sure you turn it off so and your phone doesn't turn off while it's connected, because I've had that happen and it gets kind of annoying. But anyway, now once uh, once you've done all that, you're all good with your phone, you can just leave it alone for now. Now you're going to want to go into your computer and open up Steam. As far as I know, this only works with Steam. If you want to use, uh, you know, V-Ridge or the other one, I'm pretty sure those work with anything, but this, as far as I know, only works with Steam. So you're going to want to go up to the store here and search for, well first you're going to want Steam VR installed, so make sure to download this, you can just search Steam VR and you'll find it. And then you're also going to want to download Ivory Driver for Steam VR. So once you get this here, you can see you could get the premium edition, which is what you need to get rid of like the color saturation and everything like that. But if you don't have the money for it or you're fine with just having less color in it, uh, you could just do that and this will work perfectly fine. So once you have both things installed, you have to press use now and you'll see it start up. I also have another program called driver for vr and that basically just allows you to use an Xbox Kinect for like hand tracking and other things like that. Also, I don't know why this is starting in safe mode. Sometimes if you have issues with Steam VR starting up, uh, you might want to just close out of it, restart it. I don't know. It, it has some issues. It's not the greatest. But you can see now I'm in here. If I move my headset around, uh, you will see that it'll also move it around in this little preview here. So you can see it is all working. If I wanted to turn on driver for VR, it would allow me to, if I had a connect, I could plug that in and use hand tracking or head tracking, stuff like that. You don't need this. Uh, this is just another optional thing. So if you're just going to play games, like for me, I'm just using Project Cars 2 as an example. If you're going to play games like that that you don't need, you know, hand tracking and stuff like that. This works perfectly fine, but if you have an Xbox Connect laying around, download Driver for VR, and maybe if I get one, I'll also do a tutorial on how to set all that up. But anyway, once you are in here, you can put on your VR headset, and you should be pretty much good. So just give me a second, let me put this on real quick. Okay, so one of the main issues that I do have using this program is that you know, everything comes out in kind of like a boxy shape. I know there's definitely a way to fix that if you go to the Google Cardboard app and mess around with your uh, your VR setup. Which, by the way, also one other thing. You're going to want to download the Google Cardboard app and make sure you set your device to the Cardboard 2.0, I think it's called. That's the one that I have. You can mess around with the other ones, see which one works better. Uh, some of them give you a better field of view. Some of them are easier to sync up depending on what headset you have. If your headset has an option on there, just use that one, but if yours doesn't, like mine, just try all of them. Try to find the best one that gives you the best field of view and the best focus. Anyway, you can see here, I'll kind of alternate through uh, the recording on my phone and the recording on my computer. Uh, but you can see I can go look around and everything looks around. It's actually pretty smooth. You know, I do have some issues with it kind of lagging a little bit, so it's not the smoothest thing in the world, but obviously it works for, you know, a, a $1 setup. This is pretty good. Uh, but anyway, if you have an Xbox controller, you can press the Y button to open up the menu. But since I don't, I'm going to have to take my headset off. But since I don't, I'm going to have to take my headset off real quick and open up Project Cars 2, which is one of the only games that I have that supports it. If you have, like, a racing wheel or something, you could also use a controller. 
If you guys do want to try out a really good free-to-play racing game, at least just to try out VR, uh, you could get this game called Race Room. It is a little bit pay-to-win. You only get like five cars starting out uh, if you're free-to-play, but it at least allows you to try this out. All Steam VR games should work with this as long as you don't need uh, like controllers. Also, if your headset does come with a controller, I'm pretty sure using Driver 4 VR, you could actually get those working and everything like that. But like like I said, my, mine didn't, so I have no idea if any of that works. But anyway, I'm going to go start up Project Cars 2 and uh, show you guys this. So yeah, I also have my racing wheel and everything set up here, so... I'm actually going to be able to play the game uh, fully just with that, so I don't need actual hand controllers or anything like that. Like I said, if you do have Project Cars 2 or something, you could use a keyboard mouse or like an Xbox controller. You could use either of those. They all work with it, but you're not going to get the same experience as if you had a VR controller or, you know, uh, uh, or like a wheel or something for a game like this. Anyway, you can see here... If I switch over to the view on my phone, you'll see that it is a little bit desaturated, uh, which is what it's talking about, how it'll put everything in this, um, I, I, I forgot what it's called, like sepia, I, I probably pronounced that wrong, but it'll just make it like this red kind of desaturated look. And if you want to get rid of this, like I said, you could download the premium version of the app, which is like eight bucks. Uh, but you can see I could look around here and this little cursor moves so I could go down here don't show again and uh, Yeah, we can go into a race, which I'll just do really quickly I'm not gonna do all that great because it's kind of it's kind of hard to perceive depth and also to see with it not having full color um, but Yeah, you can see right here. It's in a little window in this little uh, menu But then once I get into the game, it'll actually put me in the cockpit and I can look around in the car Which is really cool so you can see right here, I can look all the way around, see the back of the seat. Look all the way over here, see the passenger seat, everything like that. Let's go up, start the race. Sorry if you hear any squeaking, by the way, it's just my chair. But you can see, race starts, and it works. So, uh, yeah, it's just like any other VR headset. You might have a little bit of lag. I mean, it's not the smoothest thing in the world. There's probably some options that I can mess around with. Uh, you yeah. know. Uh, there's probably some other options that you can mess around with to get a smoother experience or higher resolution stuff like that Also running this through USB 3 is highly recommended So if your computer does have a USB 3 port make sure to use that because that'll give you a much smoother Experience than if you're using USB 2 or even 1 because I tried using it through USB 2 and I was having a ton of stuttering issues and things like that I thought it was the app, but it's actually just an issue with the uh with the port. Also getting a fast charging cable I think might help because it allows more bandwidth. I'm not 100% sure. I just have the basic charger that came with my phone and stuff like that. So if you guys have any of those things, make sure to try them out and let me know down in the comments if anything else gives you a better experience playing. Or if there's any other apps that you guys have found that allow you to uh, you know, get full color or longer play time, stuff like that. But yeah, if this video has been helpful for you guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this is just something that I wanted to try out because my friend bought a VR headset for like three or four hundred dollars, and I just wanted to see what the cheapest possible way to experience VR is. Obviously, it's not as good as if you get a headset like that, so you still might want to get like an Oculus or something if you want to fully experience VR. Uh, you know the way it's meant to be experienced not through this because this is a super uh, Like ghetto setup to try it out, but yeah if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe I'm actually getting really close to a hundred subscribers, so I'm trying to hit that before uh, Christmas so if you want if you guys want to help me out with that uh, You know obviously hit the sub button hit the bell uh, make sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments if this video is helpful for you guys. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I'm all alone again, out of my own again, running from home again. You always telling me you can do better, shut up and show me then. I don't got time for this, I laid on the line for this, told you in confidence. All of my secrets and all of my woes, you took all of my souls. I'm on the road.